Hey guys, it's Holly, and today we're making a Mario-themed dollhouse. If you haven't seen my other dollhouse videos, I will link them up in the corner. Make sure to check those out. I made this dollhouse using a kit from banggood.com, which I will link down below in the description. The kit comes with everything you need to make the dollhouse, from the walls to all the furniture pieces. It even comes with glue, but I won't be using that glue. The first thing I'm going to do is glue on the wallpaper. I printed this myself, and then cut out the hole for the window. Next, I'm going to make the window pane using some clear plastic to look like the glass. For the curtains, I printed my own fabric. If you have not seen printable fabric, it is amazing. I will also link that down below in the description. You can print with a normal printer and you just peel off the back and you have fabric. For the curtains, I decided to use some pixel coins. I call them my make it rain curtains. I love them so much. The kit comes with this piece that goes above the curtain, so I painted that and put it together. I'm gonna fold my curtains and then pinch it in the middle and then wrap some adhesive ribbon around it and then glue them onto the casing and then attach that to the window. I just added some green paper to the floor of my dollhouse and then glued on the walls. I had this idea for a starlight in my head and it was a little bit hard making it, but I basically printed off a pixel star and then I covered the edges with ribbon to kind of make a 3D-ish star. And then I glued the LED that comes with the kit into the light and then attached that to the wall. There is a hole in one of the walls and it's on the other wall, so you need to neatly glue the wires down. Now onto the furniture, I decided that I wanted this desk to be kind of like toad. So I painted the blue parts red and then glued it together. And then added the little drawers. And then I did the same with the chair. And then I painted some red spots on it to look a lot more like Toad and added some beads for handles on the desk. There's a little shelf that came with this kit and so I decided to paint it a darker blue to kind of match the overalls color of the Mario Brothers. I actually picked this dollhouse specifically for this cube shelf because I wanted to print out little cubbies. So I did a mystery box and then just a regular brick box. I made more, but I ended up taking out two of them later. Next for the bed, I decided to paint the yellow pieces a brighter yellow. Now there is a bunk bed because of course this is Mario and Luigi's bedroom. And then for the comforters, you just put a piece of cardboard with a piece of felt over it. And then a red M for Mario and a green L for Luigi. I figure Mario has the top bunk because he's smaller and he's also more bossy, I feel like. And then I added some little moons to the bed. For the pillows, I decided to do red mushrooms for Mario and green mushrooms for Luigi. I wanted them to both have pets, so we have a piranha plant named Perry, and that's Luigi's pet. And then I wanted to make a little pet cheap cheap for Mario, and I got these little teeny tiny glass domes at the craft store, and I started using UV resin, but I'm not really familiar with UV resin, and I wasn't using it correctly, so I kept getting these air bubbles, and it was really annoying, and I actually redid this no joke four times it took me four tries and i used just regular resin eventually and this is the finished product and i think it's so cool this is probably my favorite piece of the whole dollhouse so this is chip the cheap cheap i also made a little fire plant and i made a bomb bomb out of beads so after I had put together all the furniture and I was putting it in the dollhouse to see what it looked like, I realized that this wallpaper was being completely covered. You couldn't see any of the details. So I decided to rip everything off and redo the walls. I found this background, which I like a lot better. So now it's time to start assembling. I also made this little Yoshi. I wanted it to look like the woolly version of Yoshi, but it kind of came out a little wonky, but I still think it's cute. It's like Mario's little stuffed animal. I made a little rug for my room using this amazing Louis Vuitton inspired Mario print that I found online. I will link the artist down below in the description. I also made a turtle shell out of clay. 
I also made this little stack of books for the desk and you can't really read the titles except for one of them that's called Get Them Coins. There's also a book on how to take care of your Yoshi and tips on warp tunnels. I really like this picture I found that says, what doesn't kill you makes you smaller. I also made this teeny tiny little Game Boy. I found a really cool Mario clock, so I'm gonna add that to the wall. Of course, I had to include pictures of the girlfriends, little Miss Daisy and Peach. Growing up playing the games, I always really loved the dolphins, so I wanted to include them somehow in this dollhouse, as well as Wiggler, because I think Wiggler is super adorable. A family photo of the two of them. And I had to include something Mario Kart related. And then of course a mustache I feel like is appropriate for this room. And my Mario dollhouse is complete. This was probably one of my most favorite dollhouses that I've ever made. I have a really strong connection with Mario because I grew up playing it. Again, if you haven't checked out my other dollhouse videos, make sure to do that. I will link them up in the corner. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.